Hey guys, this is Ron Staples for Config Bytes, and in this bite, I'm going to show you uh, several reading devices I've acquired. And the reason why I got these, I wanted to do a little experiment on which reading device would be perfect for reading my Cisco Press Books. And the Cisco Press Book we're going to be dealing with today is going to be the Cisco uh, Switch. And this one here is by David Huckleby. And this is the one we're going to be checking out. Let me get this up there in the camera. There we go, right there. So we're going to take a look at this. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at this on the uh, $79 Kindle, which is the non-touch one, the one that comes with advertisements on it. And we're going to be looking at the uh, Fire, Kindle Fire, and also the iPad 2. So you're going to take a look at all three uh, devices and see how this book looks on all three of them. And also we're going to compare it to the uh, actual hardcover. And the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm doing this is because I'm trying, I'm slowly moving from hardbound books to digital books. And the reason why is because, well, I have so many different devices and it's just nice to be able to have that book on all those devices at once on my, you know, my iOS devices, on my uh, Joy devices, and Kindle devices. It just works out great so I can be in the field and have to pull up a dock or a, a book any place. So I'll show that to you and let's move the camera over there and take a look at this. Okay, what I'm going to start here with is um, I'm going to first start with the book. You know, this is this is the uh, CCNA switch or CCNNP switch book, and um, I'll turn to this page particularly because I want to show you how this looks on the two devices. First device that's up is the uh, this is the $79 advertisement and you can see the little advertisement there from Kindle it's roughly about I'd say less than a centimeter probably about a half a centimeter thick it's uh, it's pretty thin it's extremely lightweight too and um, it looks like about a half about a half of a centimeter so anyway this is this is a uh, Kindle advertise and we'll fire it up here real quick and pull up this page now what we're looking at we're, look, we're looking at this page right here same page that's in the uh, Cisco press book and this is how it looks on the Kindle the text is pretty good I like the text I like the way it looks um, try to get a better shot there there we go um, it responds pretty good you know as far as uh, going through the pages take some of that glare off there and it, def it definitely you can definitely see this in bright sunlight now one of the drawbacks on this is that <clears throat> if it's dark you can't read it not unless you got one of those little uh, handy dandy uh, lights that set up here so that's that's the only drawback but this is great if you're in a meeting or, or not in a meeting but see your appointment I use it in a doctor's office a lot and whatnot and it works works great you can just pull this baby out and start reading your favorite book um, that's the Kindle now here's the fire right here and you notice the fire is a lot thicker that this is a full centimeter it's got some weight to it too a little little heavy um, this lights up pretty clear now you're looking at the same page here right looks a lot better um, and the nice thing is that when you tap on these graphics, you got to tap on it twice, and then you can, you know, zoom out, zoom in on it, and flip it around, take a good look at that, and see what's going on there. Um, on the on the regular Kindle, let me see if I can get back to that page. There it is, right there. Now, if I want to look at this this uh, graphic right here, what I need to do is I have to uh, do a uh, a uh, gotta bring my little cursor down with this this little pad right here, right there. So if you look up here in the corner, you'll see it start to blink. It's actually blinking at the F right there, and I'll bring this down. And this thing lights up like it does, and this is a little uh, magnifying glass right there in the corner. And then you press this center button right here, 
and then this opens up and that's what you get with that I mean it's not and it's not bad what I notice one thing I notice about this is when you're trying to read a, uh, a configuration uh, sometimes in these books when they do the uh, source code of the configuration it makes it kind of hard to read so and you can't really open it up anymore than what it is the, the fire on the other hand does show it very nicely and the response on this is really good too and then this is seven inches and I think this one here is like six or something now with those two to the side what I'll do is I'll pull out the iPad 2 now the iPad 2 on the other hand let me just unlock this real quick this is that same page with the iPad 2 you don't have to double tap you just pinch the graphic open it right up and it's, it's kind of nice now granted you know that if you're looking for cost factor I mean you know you're looking at what 700 bucks this is the iPad 2 with 64 gig um, this year actually you could get this if you find a refurbished sale I picked this one up for a buck 39 this year was 79 bucks 79 dollars so if you look at the the price on them you know definitely with whatever your budget works out nice thing is though this book goes to all the devices easily so when you buy this on Amazon you get to read it on everything and you can also read it on your iPhone too as well now Amazon does restrict you I think there's five licenses five devices that you could put a book on as a uh, DRM, DRM uh, restrictions but uh, this comes out pretty good and this is what you can use for your studies now I finished this one I finished this book and I finished it on the uh, Kindle right here here's my first Cisco press that I actually read from cover to cover now I got a question to Cisco press my question is this why whoops my question that I have for Cisco press is why is it that the digital books cost the same amount as the hard books now I have noticed there's been some uh, sales on these devices but for the most part you'll spend 40 bucks on a hard book and you'll spend 40 bucks on a digital book I can never figure that out because you, you figure you're not using this is only ones and zeros this is all paper and text and all. I, I can never figure out why the price of the book is the same for digital and, press, and print uh, maybe in the future that'll that'll straighten up a little bit but this is it this is what I wanted to get at I wanted to show the different devices the different uh, you know electronic reading devices for your studies for your Cisco and based on your budget you can find out which one is the best one that that you want to go with right now personally I like you know I, I like this one and this one really good um, this one's kind of limited you can't really I don't know you, you can read books on it and all that but you could do that with this too as well uh, this one's all right but uh, I, I, I do like the fire I mean you won't go wrong with either one of them the text is crisp on that one too as well the one thing I like about this one and I'll show you the iPad too is because I put a lot of my uh, Cisco videos on this and if you're out on the road you can you can watch some of your Cisco videos if you happen to have any uh, CBT nuggets or anything by Chris Bryant and I'll show you here real quick see here's a video lecture by uh, Chris Bryant that I threw on here all right Bulldog it's time to tackle everyone's favorite subject network design and network fundamental it does get much more advanced than that QoS is so important and can get so involved that actually it has its own exams now it's just an exam on quality of service so that's how deep and those are the switches that connect the access mm -hmm. this is what's great especially when you're on a plane all of the distribution layer plane. switches here should in this case you want to just get a refresh on something you pull up one of those videos and you can watch it on the way out there it's pretty good 
I also use another application I, I want to I recommend for the iPad too is I want to recommend GoodReader because GoodReader is really great. When you look at GoodReader, you can put all your uh, PDF docs and everything on here, and it comes up really nice. Um, if I show you one real quick, I go to my mega mega guides here. These here are from Prep Logic. If you ever get it, get on one of these sales, I got these for 99 cents each, but these are pretty good. And you can go through these and uh, just read up on the various uh, technologies. Good reader is worth the money. So that's it. That's what I got. And uh, my take on this is that you can't go wrong with either one of these. So that's my evaluation on the uh, Kindle Fire and the Kindle and for lack of a better word, I'd say the $79 one. <laughs> Probably going to be a little cheaper as it gets uh, gets out there. Let me see. Make sure I show that to the right camera. Let me bring this one back up again. Here we go. Here's the Kindle Fire. And of course the uh, iPad too. Now I haven't had a chance to see how the text, well actually I did. I recently had a chance to look at the text on the uh, iPad 3 and I have to tell you, if you think the text is clear on this, the text is really clear on the iPad 3. I'll have to admit, you know, if it's, um, if anything, that, that resolution and that uh, retina screen is definitely uh, a big improvement for the text. I, I, I was surprised that it can actually get clearer, but it didn't. <laughs> Um, but that's it. That's it. You're looking at those three e-readers. Um, you're looking at the Cisco Press book, and um, I hope this helps you make a uh, decision on your studies. Until then, uh, this is Ron with uh, Config Bytes. This has been another bite from ConfigBytes.com. For more bytes, please visit our website at www.ConfigBytes.com. Thanks for watching.